Hey, what's up guys? This is Dakota at Total Victory Mixed Martial Arts and CrossFit. I'm one of the CrossFit trainers and one of the conditioning coaches here. I want to take some time to talk to you guys about two dangers of overtraining. Something that happens extremely common um, that can sideline you for a good bit of time. So I want to take time to see if you guys could try to avoid it. The first one we call, is, uh, the first one that we have, excuse me, burnout. The burnout is easily the most common one because most people when they start a new program will deal with this before they deal with any of the other stuff. Um, well, Everybody needs motivation to start a workout, whether it be an old picture of yourself that you deemed unsightly, or you wanted to lose weight, your doctor told you to lose weight, or even if like, you see a motivational video on YouTube and you decide to go lift weights. Um, the, the problem is holding this motivation. So what a lot of people will do is they'll go start a new workout plan and hit the gym every day, every day, every day. And what will happen is, is when they stop, they don't see the results they wanted to see, that, that video, or um, they don't see what they thought they would see by working that hard in a week, they, they quit on themselves, they lose the motivation, they don't want to work out anymore because they feel like they have no hope almost. But the important thing to do is set goals for yourself. That's easily the biggest way to keep motivation is if you go to the gym every day with a set goal, uh, I'm going to lift this amount of weight, or I'm going to push myself to lift this much more than I did last time, I'm going to run this much farther than I did last time, you'll be 10 times more likely to stay motivated. You'll see, and those small goals will um, materialize into the big goals that you're looking to see, um, better state of well-being, any of those. The, the, the biggest thing that I can recommend to you guys is that you take advantage of any personal trainers that your gym has. Um, you want to you want to take advantage of this because they are like they are trained to keep you motivated by setting those small goals. That's that's their job is to set small goals for you guys to accomplish and then uh, go forward with your long term goals. Um, and I mean that and just just stay motivated. Keep looking at that old picture. Keep looking at that YouTube video. Keep keep talking to your doctor so you can see the gains that you're making. Um, uh, well, we'll be right back after this, and I will go over the next danger of... What's up guys, I'm Coach Micah and if you're watching this on YouTube and you want to learn more about our 30-day free trial, look in the description box below and click on the link that's there. It's going to give you instant access to three free training videos, our latest ebook, and the 30-day free trial. More information about that. Hope you guys enjoyed. What's up guys, we're back again. I'm Dakota at Total Victory Mixed Martial Arts and CrossFit. I'm a conditioning coach here. Um, what the next danger of overtraining I'm going to go over is the it's a it's a physical danger it's it's very very serious um it most most commonly occurs in severe trauma victims such as like a car crash or even natural disasters such as earthquakes with massive amounts of weight falling on them but this can also this um condition can also occur in the body due to overexertion it's called rhabdomyolysis it's a mouthful, and if you see it spelled out, you kind of just want to say bless you after that because you definitely sneezed when they said it. But this is no joke. This is very bad. I've had it before, or I thought I had it, and then it ended up being, but they treated it like I was on a deathbed. It was bad. Um, what it is, is it's a, it's a condition caused by overexertion and severe trauma, like I said, but... What happens is when the muscles are put under extreme stress, stress to the point where they can't take it anymore, um, they will more often than not break down and they will release whatever whatever they're holding and their um, whatever the muscle is holding into the bloodstream. And this can this can be very very dangerous. And there's one in particular called myoglobin, and that's 
you don't even want that bloodstream, but it's very poisonous to your kidneys. It can actually, nine times out of ten, it will cause kidney failure, and it, you will be put on dialysis, and it's, it's bad. You have to wait a really long time for your kidneys to clear out, and then even on top of that, your body will become more susceptible to rhabdomyolysis as you, as you keep training. It's like a heat stroke. Once you've had it once, you're more susceptible to it more often. Um, it's going to be the same exact way. Once you start overtraining again, your body is that much more likely to do it. So, I mean, this one is very, very dangerous. It happens a lot within CrossFit. Um, if you go on the CrossFit website, they have that all plastered all over the place of so no overtraining. You don't want rhabdomyolysis. Um, the, the biggest thing to do is to, to stay motivated. This, this goes back to another way is to set those goals. If you set those goals, you won't overdo it in the gym. You won't go to the gym every day and burn yourself out and and have run that risk of having a physical um, dilemma. The Those goals can also keep you from pushing yourself way too hard. I mean, the biggest thing to remember is that you didn't get out of shape in one day. Like, it didn't happen over a week. So it's not going to take a week to get back in the shape. You have to be willing to put in work and have the determination and the, just the passion to get through it. Um, but those small goals and everything like that, small goal setting will definitely help you guys. All right, till next time, have a good day.